Have you ever waited for a video game to release, then finally get your hands on it, to boot it up, and only be let down by questionable gameplay? We've all been there, and honestly, with the amount of video games out there, it's bound to happen. So, to look back at the video games that let us down, here's our list of the most memorable flops in video games. Although No Man's Sky did well commercially, it was gamers' poor reception at launch that made it a flop. Expecting a rich open world with infinite possibilities, gamers are instead met with poor graphic capabilities, missing features, and an overall experience that didn't match developers' promises. It was so bad that the Advertising Standards Authority had to launch an investigation for false marketing. Luckily for Hello Games, free content updates drastically improved No Man's Sky. It's just too bad it was a couple years too late. Riding on the success of the Tony Hawk franchise, Robomoto and Activision entered a multi-game deal to produce two skate games that would use a skateboard peripheral, Tony Hawk Ride and its sequel, Tony Hawk Shred. Fans were hoping to get an experience that would have them feeling like they're riding the concrete wave, but the games were more like a waves of disaster. Both were criticized for poor execution of a creative idea, with awkward controls and movements that left gamers frustrated. After the release of Tony Hawk Ride, gamers were so disappointed that the sequel, Tony Hawk Shred, only sold 3,000 copies and the failure put the Tony Hawk franchise on hold. There's nothing more heartbreaking than seeing a beloved cult classic be tarnished by its sequel. And in the case of Duke Nukem Forever, fans were especially hurt. After nearly 15 years of the game being in development hell, fans felt like it'd be forever until they see the game. Unluckily for them, by the time it was released, the game looked dated, had clunky controls and long loading times. There's no hail to the king baby for this one. It's unfortunate that Duke Nukem's big talk didn't live up to the hype. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's rings? Lots and lots of rings to fly through. There's a reason why gamers say superhero video games are a tough feat, and that's because of Superman, the new Superman Adventures. The game looked to cash in on kids' fascination with Cape Crusaders, but the problem was the companies that held the rights to Superman, DC Comics, and Warner Brothers kept interfering with development. Superman ended up releasing as an unfinished product that was poor in quality and suffered from many technical issues. Critics and fans ripped the game apart, and it's considered one of the worst superhero games ever made. Thanks to the movie E.T., in the 80s, there was nothing more magical for kids than the Reese's Pieces-loving extraterrestrial. However, the film's success didn't translate to E.T. the extraterrestrial video game. Developers only had five and a half weeks to develop the game in time for a holiday release. The result? A game that lacked a plot, unwelcomed repetition, inferior visuals compared to other games of its time, and selling less copies than expected. This flop contributed to Atari's bankruptcy and the video game crash of 1983. Eventually, Atari ended up burying over 800,000 unsold copies of the game. Too bad they couldn't bury our memories of it, too. I'll be right here.